How to be more stoic in five minutes a day without being a grumpy cynic. Imagine this, you're sailing across a stormy sea. Waves crash over the bow, the wind howls like a banshee, and your ship creaks like an old pirate's lament. Panic bubbles in your gut, but then you remember a whispered wisdom from the ancients. The only things you can control are your thoughts, actions, and character. You take a deep breath, steady your hand on the wheel, and focus on navigating the present moment. The storm rages on, but you, my friend, remain unmoved, a rock in the churning sea. That's the power of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy, practiced by emperors and everyday folks alike, is like a mental life raft in a world of uncertainty. It can teach you to weather life's storms with grace and resilience, without becoming a grumpy, bearded cynic who thinks puppies are overrated. But here's the kicker. Most people think stoicism is too hard, too academic, too, well, boring. They picture dusty scrolls and long-winded lectures. But what if I told you you could harness the power of stoicism in just five minutes a day? Intrigued? Think about it. Five minutes is less time than it takes to scroll through Instagram or make your morning coffee. Yet in those five minutes, you could learn to face your fears with courage, not anxiety. Imagine looking your biggest fear in the eye and saying, meh, not so bad. Stoicism can help you do that. Turn setbacks into stepping stones. Ever stub your toe and curse the entire universe? Stoicism teaches you to see even the most anointing hiccups as opportunities for growth. Find peace in the present moment. Stop stressing about the future or regretting the past. Stoicism can show you how to find joy and contentment in the here and now. And here's the best part. You don't have to wear a toga or pretend to be wise beyond your years. Stoicism is for everyone. From CEOs to baristas to stay-at-home parents, it's about practical tools for living a better life, not about impressing your friends with fancy Latin quotes. So, are you ready to ditch the stress, conquer your fears, and find inner peace? All it takes is five minutes a day and a willingness to embrace the wisdom of the ancients. Click the link below and let's set sail on this stoic adventure together. You won't regret it. I promise, there will be no beard stroking or grumpy cynicism involved. Just real-life tools for becoming a calmer, happier, more badass virgin of yourself. Ready to set sail. Now let's get to the good stuff. The 5-Minute Stoic Practices You Can Do Anywhere, Anytime. 1. The Morning Meditation. 2 Minutes. As the sun paints the sky with gentle hues, begin your day not with the frantic buzz of your phone, but with a 2-minute investment in yourself. Sit quietly eyes closed, and feel the rhythm of your breath. Don't judge the swirling thoughts, merely observe them like clouds passing across a vast blue sky. This simple act, as Epictetus said, requires great discipline, but it lays the foundation for a day where you, not your emotions, hold the reins. I used to be a slave to my morning anxieties. The moment I woke up, the news cycle and social media would bombard me leaving me feeling powerless and stressed. It was the stoic practice of morning meditation that changed everything. Those two minutes allowed me to step back, acknowledge my fears and worries, and choose to leave them on the meditation cushion for the day. The result, a calmer, more centered me, ready to face whatever the day threw my way. Set a timer for two minutes. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. Inhale deeply, feeling your belly expand. Exhale slowly, releasing any tension you hold. If thoughts arise, observe them without judgment and gently bring your focus back to your breath. Remember, the chief task in life is simply this, identifying and separating matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Epictetus. 2. The obstacle reframe. 1 minute. Life, alas, throws curveballs. Your boss might give you a tongue lashing. The subway might break down. Your carefully crafted plans might crumble like a stale cookie. 
What then? Do you let frustration hijack your day and turn you into a grumpy troll? Or do you, like the stoic emperor Marcus Aurelius, transform every obstacle into an opportunity to practice virtue? Think of a current obstacle you're facing. It could be anything from a looming deadline to a strained relationship. Now, close your eyes and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from it? Imagine this obstacle as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. Journal down your thoughts and see if a new perspective emerges. I once had a colleague who, after being passed over for a promotion, felt dejected and defeated. But instead of wallowing in self-pity, she adopted the stoic mindset. She saw the missed opportunity as a chance to hone her skills and network more effectively. Within a year, she not only landed a dream job, but also developed invaluable skills and connections that wouldn't have been possible without that initial failure. Please, share your stoic practice. Did a morning meditation bring you clarity? Did reframing an obstacle empower you? Drop comment in the comment section. 3. The Gratitude List, 1 Minute, as Seneca, the sage philosopher, reminded us, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. Yet, amidst the constant barrage of desires and comparisons, savoring the present often feels like a forgotten art. This is where the gratitude list, a humble yet potent stoic practice, steps in. Imagine this, a crisp autumn evening, the scent of spiced chili warming your hands, the laughter of loved ones echoing in the air. These, along with the simple act of drawing breath, are all worthy of our appreciation. Yet, how often do we let them pass unnoticed, like unclaimed treasures amidst the clutter of expectations? Each night, before sleep's curtain descends, dedicate a mere minute to crafting your gratitude list. No grand gestures needed, my friend. Let it be a humble tapestry woven with threads of joy, however small, a perfectly brewed cup of coffee, a child's giggle, the blooming resilience of a wilting flower. As you pen down these blessings, savor them, let them sink into your bones. Notice how, with each grateful scribble, the shadows on your heart lighten, replaced by a gentle luminescence. I confess, gratitude didn't come naturally to me, my mind, a master at conjuring anxieties, would drown out the whispers of quiet joys. But then, I started my gratitude list. In it, I scribbled about the warmth of sunlight on my skin, the wisdom gleaned from a stranger's smile, the unexpected kindness of a neighbor. Slowly, my perspective shifted. The world, once a canvas of complaints, blossomed into a tapestry of blessings. My happiness, no longer tethered to fleeting successes, found its anchor in the simple beauty of the present. In an age where social media parades curated versions of reality, and the pressure to hustle threatens to extinguish our inner spark, the gratitude list becomes a shield against despair. It reminds us, gently yet powerfully, that happiness isn't found in the attainment of some distant goal, but in the mindful appreciation of the ordinary, the here and now. Tonight, before the day surrenders to slumber, create your own gratitude list. Let it be a testament to the quiet joys that dot your journey. Share your experience in the comments, and let's celebrate the everyday magic together. 4. Negative Visualization One minute. Epictetus, the Greek Stoic, once declared, Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one thing. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after we accept this that we can begin to find peace. Yet how often do we let anxieties about the uncontrollable, a missed promotion, a health scare, a brewing conflict, cast a long shadow over our present moments. This is where negative visualization, another stoic tool, enters the fray. It may sound counterintuitive, but by confronting our fears head on, we disarm them of their power. Set aside a minute, away from distractions. Now, gently coax your mind to conjure up your biggest fear, that impending deadline, the potential conflict, the dreaded health test, 
Feel the anxieties arise. Acknowledge them without judgment. Then, take it a step further. Imagine the worst-case scenario unfolding. Visualize it in its starkest form. The sting of disappointment, the ache of loss. Now, breathe. Ask yourself, can I handle this? Will this truly define my life? As Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and stoic, wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Chances are, the answer is yes and no. Even the worst case scenario, while unpleasant, wouldn't spell the end of your world. You will adapt, you will rise, you will find strength in the unexpected folds of the future. Negative visualization dismantles the mystique of fear. By shining a light on our anxieties, we rob them of their power to paralyze. We recognize them as temporary clouds, not eternal storms. Bonus tip, the stoic quote of the day. Find a stoic quote that resonates with you and keep it somewhere you'll see it every day. Marcus Aurelius said, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Let these wise words be your daily dose of stoic inspiration. Remember, stoicism is a journey, not a destination. There will be days when you stumble, days when your five-minute practices feel useless. But don't give up. Every time you catch yourself reacting impulsively, every time you choose gratitude over anger, you're becoming a little more stoic. And that, my friends, is a superpower worth developing. Now let's address the cynic in the room. Yes, stoicism can seem a bit, well, stoic. But here's the thing, it doesn't have to be boring. Find ways to make it fun. Challenge yourself to reframe everyday annoyances in humorous ways. Use your newfound resilience to tackle tough tasks with a smile. Who says being wise can't be fun? So, what are you waiting for? Give these five minute stoic practices a try. You might just surprise yourself with how much calmer, stronger, and even happier you become. And remember, the world needs more Stoics, not more Cynics. So go forth, be the change, and spread the wisdom. Let's make Stoicism cool again, one five-minute practice at a time. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload another video. Also, comment and share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. You are blessed.